If somehow the modchip doesn't work correctly, you can try to reset it using PuTTY. In this video, I will show you how to do it. Let's get started. As I said previously, if your chip doesn't work correctly, like you cannot boot into the payload screen, either using the genuine chip or the clone, you can try resetting it with PuTTY. When you turn on any chip consoles, you will see the LED flashes. When it is flashing, the chip tries to find the right moment at the right time to inject the payload as soon as the CPU glitches. Resetting doesn't mean nuking or breaking the chip, but instead it clears the glitch timing memory inside the chip to start new. And one more thing, the reset option doesn't always applicable to some clones. Download PuTTY from the link in the description. Download any version that suits your Windows PC. I downloaded the 64-bit version. Double-click the installer and follow the on-screen instruction. Suppose this is the core and the light chip. You can reset the chip while installed on the console. You don't need to remove it from the device. Make sure you have the USB tail or the connector for the chip. If you don't have it, you need to make the USB connection by soldering it to the board. See the link in the description to build it. So now connect the USB tail. Then connect the chip to your computer using a USB cable. You will see a green light coming from the chip. If you don't see it, maybe you plug the tail in the wrong way. Now get into the device manager and you will see a USB serial device as a COM port. Remember the COM port number. In my case, it is COM5. Now run PuTTY. Select Serial and enter the COM port number. Press Open. It will open a new window. On this window, press R. And you have reset the chip. Now remove the USB cable and try to boot the console. Thanks for watching this video. 